Time Zone, your book review podcast. Enjoy! Hey people, this is Renee. This is Bridget. And Talisha. This is episode 16 of Same Book, Three Time Zones. This is our May's book of the month. And we read My Heart is Your Secret by Chelsea Maria. Um, I read one book by her last year. This is not like that book. So it's like a completely <laughs> different type of story. So it's still like, you feel like, oh, okay, yeah, I like the book. It was sweet. It was cute. And this is different. Um, and I don't think either one of y'all have read her before, right? It's your first Never. time. Never. Nope. First yeah, it's time. my first time. Okay. We're trying to keep it, you know, fresh to the sense like, we don't, you know, we don't know the authors yet and stuff like that. First, I want to say, you know, to everyone listening, just get the book. I know we might, we, okay. <laughs> I don't want to get different views. If you've seen our reviews, like written on Amazon, or anything, you probably have it, which is probably good because some people get spoiled and stuff. Our frustration, you, you throwing not a at me? frustration. It's not a negative, negative frustration. No, not not you. You didn't really spoil it. I, I saw your. Review. I didn't. No, I, I don't. I don't think you. I don't think you really spoiled it. Um, I thought I did. Get the book, <laughs> and then come back if you haven't read it. Because this this conversation is yeah. You you're gonna have to get your mind blown first. Um, also, we never say this, but subscribe. You know, because we are doing this. Of course, it's for our pleasure, but also you know. We want you guys to be reading. We want you guys to review. And we want y'all to hear what we got to say. So we can hear what y'all got to say, too. You know, we can all Yes, because black women read. <laughs> <laughs> and we write. Shoot. We read and we write. You know, everything that's going on, first of all, in our country, around the world and stuff. Like, I'm in, you know, south of Minneapolis. And it's just crazy what happened with George Floyd. And, you know, our, our hearts and prayers go out to his family. Um, we're going to talk about oh, yes. my heart Girl. is your secret. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, this, 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 this was something. And if all y'all who read it, y'all know exactly what we talked about. Um, we have to, the, the main character is Keaton Fletcher. And I loved how she was presented because man, she did something. A lot of people, we just, we ain't, we can't do. <laughs> I, I can't do it. Like, I cannot do it. Sorry. First of all, you know, she, she, she wasn't a virgin or whatever. She, you know, she does like, like, you know, you all do, you know, you fall temptation to the flesh and stuff like that. And she was in a relationship with someone after her mom had passed from can- cancer, right? Yeah. Okay. So her mom had passed and her father, I believe he was in politics at the time. Um, and he kind of smothered himself, drawn himself in work and basically abandoned her. She was already grown when this happened, probably like early 20s or something. Got his relationship with a guy. I guess the sex was great, but it's like, that's all it was to her. He did not stimulate. You know how we, we, yeah, sex is enjoyable. But when you're in a relationship, you want every, like you want everything stimulated, not just your body. All right? You want somebody you can talk to. Yeah, some people. Conversations with, What? <laughs> you for the same stuff. I think some women, yeah, some women. <laughs> but, but that's like a desire she had. And it was like that was for real though, because some people just go in for for the you know the body part and just that, like her yeah. friends, and that's all they got, Coco. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, and that's all they offer. So I did enjoy that you know she saw that and she recognized it, and she didn't want to waste any more of his time. As well as, you know, not wasting yeah. hers. That's Girl, dope, man. She, she went on a journey, okay? Travel, found holistic practices. She was called Dr. What, Talisha? Coochie, uh, there you go. I don't remember. Coochie something. She, yeah. Something. Sorry. <laughs> the, the Coochie Doctor. Yeah. Doctor. <laughs> so, what was it called? Her business was a Lotus? No, Lotus Blue, right? I think flowers. I thought it, I thought it had some of flower in it. No. Okay. But um, so she she makes like products and stuff that's good for our feminine, you know, uh, hygiene and things like that. So in her snap, mindset, snap, this is the same thing as Erin's, not using like the Western medicine and you know finding remedies like natural remedies and like, natural, yeah. approach for healing mm-hmm. and cleansing right. and stuff like that. So that was her deal, and she was what five years celibate. Right? Yes, five, five years. years. Five yes, years. girl. Five long years. After I already tasted it, you know. 
Uh, and then she had some good because she said it was good. Exactly. Like it wasn't like she had a horrible experience. Yeah. Like that is a it wasn't I applaud her. Just, like yeah. you whew, superwoman. Yeah. Right. So that's <laughs> also she does. Be me. You know, she's coming back home to Fort Lauderdale. Um, she's been gone, I'm gonna say what, eight years? Ten years. She, I thought it was ten. Eight. That's what I was about to say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So she's been gone, traveling the world. She ain't came back home. <laughs> okay, she has not had been. She ain't been talking to her dad because they, you know, their relationship was what it was because of after the mom died. But they, they relationship wasn't really dope when they her mom was there. But her mom yeah. was just so amazing that it, you know it didn't That's really. That's true. So right. Because he was all yeah. So it's like he just kind of went more into what he was doing as far as not being there, and that that's true for a lot of parents though. Um, yeah. The mom just be dope. Jobs they have when the dad be we do. and the mom be there, and I think it's a blessing when you can be there. So then we go to Mr. Aaron. What's your first impression? I love his brother, man. <laughs> I thought he was. A, I thought they was like some drug dealers, man. A male? That's bad, a male? man. Like no. He hard. If I pull my gun, I'm gonna shoot you. Like don't play I, with me. Mm-hmm. I don't want him. No. I, I love him. It would be eerie. It would be no. You love I you love, love a male? Him. Yes, I love him. He yes, crazy. I love his That's wisdom. His but I think he crazy. He Baby. is crazy. And he reminds me of Yvonne. <laughs> Is if that's how you say his name from uh tell me tell the movie. No. I no. Movie. no, it's like the 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 scariness of him reminds oh, me. Oh not the picturing him. No, not how he looks, nothing. No, like yeah, cause he uh, ain't cute in my head. I feel like a male. I love me some a male. That him. boy, he raised his brothers, he loved his family. Just don't don't uh get on his bad side. And don't sell drugs. <laughs> But and he is though. That's, he was that's good that he that's good that he don't want his his brothers to sell drugs. That's good. He freaking paved the way for them. Like you don't have to work the rest of your life. That was the thing you with just, Cassie. Cassie was getting on my nerves with that. Yeah, that's an annoying brother. But let's go back to uh, Aaron. But, but Aaron, I liked him at first until I thought he was cheating on at the beginning when I thought he was cheating on Michelle. And I never, I never, I thought, never that. thought he was I, I thought it was his mom. You didn't think that? I thought it was his mom no, too. Because he kept saying that he's he's portraying his uh his brother. His brother. Him. A man. And I, I thought just like, I, it's no way I, he. Ab- I didn't think he was cheating because of how how he was portrayed. As a spiritual person, how much that don't he mean loved, nothing. No, how much he loved Michelle, even though she was trash. But how, mm-hmm. like all of that, I was like, it's no way he gonna love that hard and then have something else. I, it's just because I, I his heart, okay? Because he, was he wasn't. She, he said that at that time she really wasn't giving it up. He, that she really wasn't giving it up, and he would get these texts. When I first saw the first text, it had a room number and time, yeah. and I'm like. I know better. I read it. I and I was like, she's trying to get me. I'm not following And the then court. another one, I was like, this dude cheating? Oh, no, I ain't for you now. I, I am. I mean, I technically, he did cheat. He gave his heart. He said emotionally. To the old girl. Right? But so that I, was the I other definitely girl. thought, you know, he was, uh, Alice was Aaron, and I thought he was doing that. But I didn't, uh, I didn't like the, he was going to the hotel. I, I always thought it was his mom. I thought it was the mom. Really? Yeah. Both of y'all I really did. That? The only reason I thought that is because of how much he said it was a betrayal to Amel. And that's the only thing I would think. Because why would him cheat? Yeah, like Amel betrayal? wouldn't care if you having sex with somebody. Because he don't even like Michelle. Uh, he, yeah, he don't. Yeah. <laughs> like, he'll be like, good. Leave Michelle alone. I thought it, it, it might have been one of Amel's ex-girlfriends or something nah, like that. Nah, 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 nah. Because uh, Aaron wouldn't do that. Well, <laughs> Look, nah. my Aaron, he wouldn't do Like, I, I love him. I love Atlas. He 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 was cool, but Amel, that's babe, man. I love go on, him. Go on with that. Like, go I on just with that. I just love him so much. He I want him. look. I want him to find love because all he has is his brothers right now. I did want because like want his him. his dad used to beat the mess out of him, and then like he just took it. He didn't like he he never wanted his brothers to get hurt. And as soon as he did, his brothers did get hurt. He killed that man. I just he's just perfect. I just love him. I don't mm. like when we be reading these books and I be like really okay with murder. Like, oh yeah, I sure was. Because bad. when that mama seen child, I was 
at the middle of that conversation, I was like, do it. 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 That in there. I want to put it in myself. That's the, uh, I'm okay with that. You can't, that's your mama. I don't, I don't care. care. She deserves it. I don't it. care. I don't care. It's your mama. How you gonna throw in there with them things and ate that lady up like that? Um, Maybe because you ain't your mama. She ain't had no heart, dog. Like, I don't, I don't <laughs> you ain't you ain't experienced oh. ain't shit, mama. Like oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Hey, like I. I raised by a great one, but you know, you still have that experience with the ones that's not. And it, I wouldn't kill her. Like I would want her to die, like my real mom. But I don't care if this she mama, but I this wish story, I'm gonna ignore that. This mama, I was <laughs> when she did all that and act like that when they was sitting, mm, let her go. That's all I, and that boy drop kicked her. But anyway, I, said, <laughs> I didn't want y'all. I, I was like, bitch, you did it for the money. What? She did it for the money. And I'm she she should have kept that to herself because I was ready to kick her in there. So oh okay, Aaron is Aaron. Aaron is great to like. I'm this guy. You know, he same mindset as Keaton. This is this is the way she played this up. It's like it's they were meant for each other, even though they didn't know each other yet. That's how I was saying it, right? Because he is also in holistic healing. He makes vitamins and all these kind of type of things for the people in the hood, you know, to help them with their illness. I said illness, their ailments and illnesses. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh my gosh, they're gonna end together. <laughs> but he has a girl, and you know, you figure like that's gonna deteriorate or whatever. I knew and that they was gonna get together. And then at he was show, unequally though. yoked with that girl. I like, I knew I they were gonna be to happen. Yeah. Michelle, I knew. The way she was acting, it wasn't. But it's just the way it was played out, like separately. You were like, oh, they right. two like, different really worlds. They was like two different worlds. I didn't think they would come together in any kind of way. Right. I thought they still, was. That's why I thought Atlas was Aaron because I just was waiting for it to happen. So I was like, this got to be it. So Atlas comes into the picture when she goes to the library, and I was just like, you. you. <laughs> Didn't they say that Aaron was about to go to the library for something though? Like right before no. that scene? I don't no? think so. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. I'm reading it again. I could have sworn I, I read that. Okay. But okay. So he, here here are the hint the hints that that gave this way to me. Okay. Over time. But like their first initial meeting, I mean, they just have this immediate thing. And when he's holding her because she's about to trip over or whatever, how she can keep falling around his man. Um, I'm like, why is he still holding her? Why? Like, I don't like it, but I like it. You know? <laughs> like, I don't like it, but I like it. And the whole waist beads and stuff. I'm going to have to give me some. I've been hearing too much about that on waist beads. It was like the, the, their, their connection was, it was, it was so, it was too deep for my understanding. Um, it was like far beyond, you know, and it's like they both were spiritual people, right? And they wanted what God wanted for them. But then you don't get all of this from Atlas unless he's like talking to Keaton. But you do get that kind of stuff from Aaron. So it's almost like the same things Aaron is saying, his own point of view are the same things that Atlas was saying to Keaton when they were together. He was just there too many times. When Keaton went to her dad's um, office and came he out was. crying, how are you there? Why are you he there? Was. I thought Atlas, I never thought that they were the same person, that, that Atlas and Amy were the same person. That, I never, that, I never oh. But I did think that Atlas was, because I knew that Aaron had to, he had to hurry up and jump in there and do something about yes. this pool. So yeah. I thought that Atlas was one of his people that mm -hmm. he had set and keeping up, you know. I, I, I thought that it was after, uh, oh my gosh, Maureen, Maureen, whatever. That witch. So when Don't Keaton say that witch name. When Keaton comes home, you know, she meets her dad, like, after not seeing him, like, in person for, like, a ton of years. And apparently he's, like, super fine. Zaddy, <laughs> Zaddy, <laughs> yes. Um, but he's supposed to be, like, what, he, yeah, they were already engaged? Or thinking about getting engaged? How was that working? Oh. The dad and Maureen. No, Maureen? she didn't have no ring or nothing. They weren't, okay, so he hadn't proposed. Okay, so they were just talking about it. Okay. 
But it was a woman in his life that, you know, whatever. Um, and I was think I didn't think that it was gonna be like a big deal. You know, I, when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, she might be younger or something. Cause I feel like it's always gonna be something when like the mom passed away and then another one was introduced. But then you meet Maureen and you see her stank ways with Keaton, like for no reason at all. Like we were not understanding what it is. So now we hate her. Cause their first conversation um, alone that bitch gonna say <laughs> you need to get your yo you need to get uh this stuff out of here that's ooh, oh oh yeah, yeah. Trink- yeah. Trink- yeah. Trink- trink- yeah the trinkets and pictures how about you, you i got some moving right. boxes for you to get that stuff out like i was like yeah. no she mm. used me and he mm. didn't touch nothing he didn't move nothing everything was exactly the same as her mama left it everything and for her to say that like her garden her. like he kept up with the garden like that's so beautiful everything <laughs> and the fact that she did that i was like oh oh no no please like i was like she gotta put a stop to that please let that man see it. i wanted it, it it was so many times in there i feel like he got he enough so information calm. he I got enough information so to calm. be like yeah i was like, laughing when, when like, i don't understand like i don't understand how stuff didn't pop off plenty of times but whatever um, so with Maureen or and her son Maurice, <clears throat> Maureen came to uh Aaron. This is already after Aaron and Michelle's relationship ain't really, you know, it's not clicking. But she came to him with a picture of Keaton for her to get murdered by. She thinking that he gonna take her out just because he just to get to the, the daggone dad. Now, and the she don't really was, want the dad, really. She no just want the, uh, position She's and the, the that's power. What and like, that's what that's what made me mad. Because at first I'm, you know, you think like they don't want the person. They're just like just not good. But it really wasn't. Oh, how do you even get with this woman? I'm just whatever. <laughs> but so all of this is happening because Mitch, who raised um the who raised the boys, um he wants this port. First of all, I, I didn't feel so bad about their illegal activity because I, I, I we thought the drugs and stuff was out of the picture. Of course, they're still dealing with guns. But the the part about the bringing people in, because when he said trafficking, I was like, oh, heck no. Me too. Like, I was like, like, oh, no. I know. But no. then he said they're bringing people in, like immigrants. They're sneaking them in. They're giving them... Um, IDs and all this type of stuff and setting them up like on an Indian reservation, you know, so they get on their feet, giving them jobs right. or whatever, so they can have a better life here. And I'm like, well, that kind of illegal I can live with. <laughs> because, you know. But the gun still, that's bad. Yeah, it is. Hey, it man. Is. Almost like you we, we even need to get uh, strapped up. You even it out. The world that is going on. I didn't right? have a problem with none of it. <laughs> Cause a male, he just. <laughs> oh my God! Don't talk about male. <laughs> but a male, okay. a male, I see a male um looking like uh, what's that man name um like he I say he look like a um. Don't talk about a male, okay? He ain't did one, nothing to you. All he do is love his family and he oh, protect them. I feel brain. like he got cameras everywhere because he know too much. Oh. Look like a spider. I say he look like a spider. No, no, I see him looking at him like the girl said she was he was fine. But I just think he's like eerie. Yeah, like eerie. He's eerie. I don't think he was looking fine. He fine mm-hmm. and he and he ain't he ain't read about me or you anyway, because he only <laughs> cared about his family. But Shut still, up. I love him. <laughs> I don't understand how a male knows everything. That man knows everything. Like <laughs> how? He got cameras everywhere. When, he got, uh, he got when Aaron everywhere. said uh, he glad that only he could see his cameras, I say, nah, your brother can. <laughs> your brother can see him. He know too much, man. I just and then and he it, got cameras brother, on everybody. That's why he gave them their property so he could <laughs> uh, to keep an eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> and the property, he, I don't know. He said he don't know how, but he ended up getting property on the Indian reservation. The yeah, drugs. How? Huh, what a what up? He uh he giving them immigrants. <laughs> we didn't know anything about that. No, he giving them immigrants to uh to work. 
and they gave him the land. It's possible. And he doing whatever else. I don't know. Because he kills Aaron people. said he had some of the people working in his farms and stuff. So I, mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool that they got to. He's like, well, I don't think we got no Indian in our blood, <laughs> but <laughs> um, but yeah. So the whole point of Mar Maureen coming at the um, dad is because the dad is the mayor of Fort Lauderdale, and mm. then. Aaron's girlfriend, uh, Michelle, her dad is the mayor of, I believe, Miami. Her dad yeah. is dirty. And they yeah. have a port, you know, like a, they have like, a, what do they call it? I don't, I don't want to say ownership, but they, they get like a certain window at this port um, to do their illegal business. And they give him money off, you know, off the top and go by like that. So the man, Mitch, who's, who wife, him and his wife took over and raised the, the boys, he wants Fort Lauderdale. Like, he wants a port there. So that means they have to get in bed with um, Keaton's dad, who is a straight and narrow dude. Ain't no dirt to be found on him to blackmail him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they have to come another route. And that's where Keaton comes in. Mm -hmm. So Ma Maureen wants to, basically, her plan, first of all, how your son, how your son rat you out? about your plan because she's a witch i don't know she raised right. some uh unloyal he thinks she got some type of power she don't have nothing yeah um, i don't know why why she thought she had power I, though i don't know i don't know she wasn't nobody <laughs> she wasn't she just wanted to be i'm like girl sit down um so love love is blooming right but it's like Michelle and Aaron. Aaron is like having this relationship with this girl, but he's not. Things are like not like they were, and they're falling apart. And he he's seeing like his errors in his ways by giving her everything, material, everything. But they don't have that type of like connection. I think he was just blind by it, you know. But as that's unfolding, here comes Keaton. When they when Keaton met Atlas. Even when they first met, I don't know why. I I, I just wanted it to be here. I think I just felt point, like everything like, that Alice told Key, like it was Aaron's life. Like some of it lined up, and like some of it did. Like most of it did. Like it lined yeah. up to me hundred percent. I was like the two brothers. He said his mom, his mom. You know the summer ride his mom, and now and now I was like, well maybe that. But I checked. I was like, he could be lying. <laughs> That's why I was like. In my mind, yeah, nothing would justify him not being the same person. Like, it's, I kept fighting with myself, trying to say, well, maybe they're not. But it's like, no, it can't, because I wanted it so bad. Um, so his relationship with Michelle is deteriorating. And Atlas is dating Keaton. So after a while, they fall in love. I mean, they're falling in love because just the spiritual part, and, like, they're so, like, just there you know like soulmate stuff that's what soulmate stuff is we don't all had it a lot of people never had, had that never had that never felt that that stuff right there that it felt so like oh my gosh is that real because it's no it ain't it's in the books <laughs> it was it was like and the both of them felt the same way but you have th this is another part that got me and i was like it has to be the same person when okay aaron is supposed to be getting um keaton's dad on board but he he's never approached him right so he's everybody's like you take too long you got the port yet you got the port yet in like weeks months all the stuff is passing and he's like i have a plan in motion i'm like okay is he he's either atlas or atlas is working for him <laughs> that's why i thought that's but, what i thought and i was like no it is him when they when Cassian's stupid self when he told him to put a fire under him and Cassian's stupid self went and kidnapped the girl broad, broad daylight and brought her <laughs> to the warehouse. He told so, you scared? No, I'm not scared. I was like, oh. Okay. But the way that Aaron was saying, you know, describing her and he was and how she was like being cool and he was like, saying, okay, so she don't look like she's been here before. And she would answer, he's like, okay, good girl. Like when stuff like that, I'm like, he he talking like you know her. You know what I mean? No, I thought I he just wanted her. I think he, I thought he just wanted her then. I'm like, man, he's looking at her and, and, and he just want to be with her. I didn't think that he had already 
met her. You I'm know what I'm you, saying? My mind was like, I was like, Alice was is Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> I, I don't see how you did. I don't know. My like, mom was forcing it. I was like, see, he said, good girl. He was like, man, he no, he, he knows. So that's, that's him. And when it went at the end, when she was leaving and they was, he said, don't you touch a hair on her. I was like, that's her. And that's him. He, he, cause he know her. I mean, you, you, it, it can go both ways, which is why it was good how she wrote it. Cause it can go both, like you said, he just like, he's attracted to her and he wants to protect right, her whatever. Right. But it was just something about that. I was like, nah, no, that, that has to be the same. And I, but I was where you were. I was like, but it could. And when he said, she gonna be mine. I was like, uh, no, he, no, she not. Cause she was Atlas. <laughs> Atlas right. is her, you know? So. They have to be the same person. Right. I was like. <laughs> Cause uh-uh. I wanted it was just it was too much. It was too much. And then he's he's Atlas is a librarian. He's just like the perfect, you know, guy. The perfect answer to everything. When she said she was right. celibate, you know, he was like, "Well, I'm sorry, you had to explain that to anybody else besides me." Cause you know, I'm like, "Shut up, shut up." <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad he did something wrong. Cause yeah, he was too doggone right? perfect. So right. I'm glad that he. You know, oh. I was like, "Dang, man, he waits to ask her like she." I'm, I'm to, mad. Like, to tell her, it's too much. Like Dang. he Dang. always pops up at the right, right time. He popped up at the office when she came out, and you know, was a hip. You know, he was there for her. Okay, whatever. Y'all follow up. And after she get kept kidnapped, you know, she tells the dad. You're right there for. Her. She tells the dad. So I'm like, why is he not? Emo- like, why does he not feel anything? Why is she still around? Nah. Maybe- Okay, maybe I didn't have to go back and read. That. I mean, he knew who Aaron, he knew Aaron and Alice was the same person, so I don't know why he didn't tell her. In the book, he said that she uh, she had stopped talking to him for a little bit because she was mad that uh, oh, like, that. that he knew uh, and she, she didn't. So after she got kidnapped, she she went on to uh, that was after the house. Yeah, that was after they found out everything. But she went to Atlas' house and you know still same perfect answers and stuff. Maybe like you know teasing around about marriage and stuff. And after the whole kid and everything, and then they were still connected. She would go to the library just to see him, and it was just a really you know beautiful thing between the two of them. And then here comes marriage in the conversation. You know it's super soon, um, but it's just something you know with them like they know they both know he knows and he's convinced you know so is she so i'm like all right go with it but he tells her that's fast the three day thing is so yeah. beautiful let's fast and see if this is what god really wants for us and i'm like i wish that more people um do stuff like that at this point let's go back to aaron's life with him his girl his business his brothers Man, his Michelle, I didn't know that she was that trifling. Like, I knew she was trifling, but I didn't know she was like that. Like, like. I think she was really money hungry, but then again, she let her, her daddy use her. Yeah. Like that. You let your daddy hold you out? Like, you. Yeah. That's what it really was. <laughs> like, to be right, That's what it really was. Like, I'm with, like, you gonna go have sex with this dude. And get pregnant. <laughs> nah, bro. And a male knew it. I would have been like, you go fuck him, daddy. I'm <laughs> a male you. knew it. And that that when it, when he was taking Aaron to the cause he kept telling you, telling him, Hey, you need to get rid of that girl. Like she was snake. Is that right? that's why I love him? Like he just um, But he never like my thing was tell me why, fool. Like why you keep telling me to do stuff, right. but you're not telling me right. why. Like that was right. And that's how Aaron was. Like, you already you know he always right. Okay, but like I wanna know why. Like, don't just tell me to do something. Do it first, and he'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen he first. Find out for himself, whatever. But that fool <laughs> took him to the hospital, and then took him to the maternity wing. I'm like, no, no, and he said, no. So, when can we do the butt test? <laughs> Girl, I thought this is what I thought was gonna happen. I thought they were gonna do this ultrasound, and it was gonna be no baby. <laughs> like she loved. Oh, I, I, I thought it was a baby. Like that. But, and then she looked, you know, he was saying her belly looked a little more, you know, plump than it should have been because he always researches everything, knowledge is everything to, to uh, Aaron, which is really, I love that too, because, you know. I mean, that's all of them though. He get it from a male. Like, they, they play chess. That's true. That's true. I just love him. Chess Who puts bleach? They play chess. Who bleaches fish? Oh, he 
people that don't deserve it. Like I don't. He what, didn't, what he do didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know. But you too old not to know. He's still, he ain't know. He ain't know. He's trying, oh, to, he know. He he know. <laughs> he trying to do something. That boy got his whole car shot up for that. <laughs> Girl, it was, ask it me. Was you just remember a car. At the beginning, I thought at the very, that first chapter and when he, when Amel came and shot up the car, I was like, I ain't reading no more of this book. I thought that he was gay. I thought that was the boy lover coming over there, shot up the car. I said, Ashley, what, what y'all read it? Because it, uh, we're going to have to choose another book. I wasn't going to read no more. Uh, who was Amel? Because I'm not even going to lie. When, when when uh, Michelle had left in the first chapter, whatever chapter it was, and uh, Cashin came over and they were sitting there. And yep. he was like, you know, him and Amel, like they, whatever, like they got to argue, whatever it was. Like he kicked him out because I'm stupid. I'm like, oh, you can have a gay brother. <laughs> no, nah, <laughs> I did not think that. That's no. what I thought because he's I never anymore. thought that. I thought, I thought like Amel, like was his uh, supplier. And he like, uh, I, didn't, I don't know why like, my mind like, went to like, that. This I thought it was a drug thing, and he owed him some money, so he shot his car up. It felt like, like a personal... Like, when, once the car got shot up, I didn't think that no more. But I thought that when he said, like, a male had kicked him out, and it's talking about, like, what had happened. But then right. like, the further you got into it, I was like, oh! I'm like, nah, nah I didn't really think, think that. I did. Uh -huh. I did think that. And she called me, and she was like, what is this? <laughs> is that alien game? I said, keep reading. <laughs> but Cashin is stupid. Oh my gosh, he's played too much. Oh my gosh, he got shot so many times. <laughs> right? Stupid self. A male don't a play. Male. Like, don't oh, play with him. Like, a male do not play. And if I have my gut, I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> but, um, like he said, you know, he was in there and when he was asking questions, you know, Michelle Mama was like, she wants you to pop off on him. And you can see the daddy was scared. And once you see that, you know, okay, the daddy got some like, but what really happened? I didn't think what, what happened had happened. That that, no, no. That nobody was, that was just that. some nasty, <laughs> disrespectful, just, I just was like, no respect for none of them. She called, she mm -mm. called me way off guard. Like, she got me a few times. Um, but that one, I, 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 it ain't nowhere across my mind that she got. I, I, I almost said, like, in the beginning, I felt like she was, I did feel like she was cheating. Because um, it was something that was said um, about her, like, going, like, to um, Burka Yoga. You know how they be sweating up in there, but she come home and smell the same way. Like, like it was oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like yeah. He, she smelled good. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, okay. Well, I didn't think, she, yeah, I didn't think it was that deep. I didn't think, no, I didn't think, I didn't think she, he, she was doing that. But I was thinking she wasn't, you know, doing, you know, she wasn't trustworthy. Like, she was lying about something. Yeah, but he followed her everywhere. She, she, he, somebody was with her everywhere she went. He had the cameras on. He had tracker on. Her. He had, but he, I mean, he, he had all of that. that but he still, and she still did what she did. Yeah, yeah. How, how, how Maurice, she Maurice, like how she, did Maurice, she, she was she supposed to be with her dad. That's what she was doing. You missed the whole two. <laughs> that's true. You're right, but they ain't never say. But that's it. It's probably every time she went home, he was probably there too. Like, you know, like the parents and stuff. I don't know, but that was dirty. I'm glad it happened though, because I really didn't like her. And I didn't like her for him. Um, so that's not his baby after she done said she was pregnant. I didn't like I didn't like like how she was just wanting drama. She just like wanted conflict. And I'm like, who does She's that? Like, we don't argue enough. My friend said, bitch, like, I don't She's stupid. Give me him stupid. since you you don't right, want Right, that's how I feel. <laughs> Shoot, I'll sit there calm and we'll be e equally yoked and no arguing. But you're going to fight. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. You're going to fight eventually. Right. Like, <laughs> I mean, it took us a minute. We was together, together for a while before we started arguing. But yeah, that was just so dumb. She was just so dumb. Talking about yeah. her. I, I was so over her. So all this is going on and you're like, Dang, but how can he be Atlas if he got this girl? Because Atlas is like he is is he not with her? Like you know, it's it's not complicated. Like, Atlas lied. It said that he, he got he got rid of her. However, he Atlas did. let her know that you know he did he yeah. was with somebody that he was unequally right. yoked with. So yeah, he, you know he he told the truth. You know, just he did. You know, 
Just but he, you know, he, he left like you know, the some, some stuff up. <laughs> he, he, he was cheating emotionally. And and it was funny because they 100%. kept hinting that he was he was saying stuff like that. But they tried she tried, Miss Chelsea. She tried to make him make us think that this relationship with the person in the hotel room was the person he was cheating emotionally with. That's what I thought. <laughs> she she ain't tricked me because and I was like you, no. you, ain't, you ain't going to no hotel and cheating emotionally. And then um, if you go to a hotel is you know i'm like how you ain't you ain't nothing anymore you ain't you ain't hugged her i mean you ain't had no sex with her. you been going to the motel room the hotel all this time all you did was kiss her exactly yeah, that's why i knew too. that it wasn't the hotel exactly. that was his mama right and he was in right. and alice was i was like yeah ain't no way yeah. anybody going to no I, hotel to talk you could talk in public like what you're talking about. that's why i had to no. be hidden that's why i said I was like, all that but to me pointed to the mama because it had to be a secret yeah. it had to be hidden because it's a betrayal to the brothers it, it was a betrayal to, to my, my 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 man and if he would have went to my man and told him that he wanted to see his mama my man would have told him how he would have saved the whole that woman place. is <laughs> Shoot. i don't know why they don't want to just listen to my man because he know everything <laughs> But you know, people, you know, you gotta go to y'all. You know, you gotta, learn, he, y'all. Allow you know, you gotta learn y'all. He did allow them to do that, but he did not like going behind, you know, people on my back. Even if he knows about uh, it. Don't go behind my back. Like, no. Um, okay, so we got these two people. Two, it seem, it's seemingly two different lives, because they are. I mean, but now Atlas and um, Keaton has a, have a three day fast, and this is like a whole big deal. It's like, you know, they both meet up. And they're both there. Aww. And it was just the most beautiful thing. Number one. It, it was such a book. How does he TV. have just one phone call away? He can reach a daggone judge to marry them. Number two, how he got a Porsche if he just a librarian. Number two, <laughs> like these are all the things of like, no, this has to be Aaron. This <laughs> is not. It's like, I said none of this stuff adds up. What librarian drives a Porsche? Does he own it? Like, I was thinking all these different this I've is never why I couldn't I couldn't it's almost like I was I couldn't buy into the fact that they were separate people. So I couldn't go deep into my emotions because I felt like they were the same. I was just waiting on that moment besides instead of being there in the story, I was just waiting on that moment when I'm gonna be right or wrong. But just tell me, please. I was like I was waiting on uh, when he said that he was going to, they were going to meet his dad or whatever. Her, no, her dad. And I knew that that witch was going to be there. And I was like, that mm -hmm. witch, I already know who he is. So I was like, it's going to pop up there. Yeah. But then that didn't happen. I was like, so I just, I was waiting, yeah, for it yeah. to blow up. And then he kept saying, like, uh, pretty soon, you know, she, you know, it, how everything was going to come together. We have this just wedding is pretty, whatever. We, we, it's not a wedding, but it's still a beautiful moment because it's like, you know, they have the judge there and they, they get married. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they're really married. Like, I'm all excited and giddy or whatever. But I'm like, when is the stuff going to go down? Because I'm still waiting <laughs> to know. <laughs> and then they talk about, you know, he, he's taking her to the house that he built. I'm like, uh, Aaron just built a house. And then she said the Indian reservation. I was like, God dang it. <laughs> That's I was like, like, wait, I was like, wait, they got another brother? <laughs> nah. No, no, that came up too. I like, swear. Finally. That came up too in my mind. I was like, wait, is there a brother we don't know about? <laughs> That's what I thought. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. Because I was that like, was finally, the only Aaron and Alice collides. I was well, like, I every knew, five seconds you know. in that scene when they came home and then went to the new house, she was just blown away. And then they go to the back. Her dad's there. Her best friends are there uh maureen and them are there michelle's there and i'm like and then when cassie had walked up i was like i knew it i was doing all that i was like yeah, i knew it i knew it and then you know he gets slapped by michelle and i was like oh my goodness but she should so she can call you atlas but i can't I, I, can't, I had to read that thing over like three times when I read that part. I'm like, wait a minute. No, I, I can't I was read. Stuck in that like, I, let me see what this I is. Let me stuck, read it. No, I was stuck I was like, because I was all in my. I knew it. I knew it. Why did she do this to me? Why? Like, I was like, why? And I just couldn't believe it, but I knew it. You know how you like to be mad that she was right because you kind of wanted it to be different. 
Mm-hmm. And then here come Mel. Like he ready to just, just murder everybody. Mm-hmm. And the fool got snipers. He got snipers. You see that? Listen, all mama he wanted, wanted his life. was that all he wanted was that helper that didn't want them. That's all he wanted. But we didn't know they, that. That's right? all they wanted. We didn't know that. Right. Right. Listen, if Bay wants something, it's for a reason. Yeah, because he was crazy. Okay, he has a temper. Bay, um, he no, I don't care. I love their relationship. First of all, the whole the brothers having like a yes, I love a meal. That was that was a nice one. Um. Anyway, so at the freaking reception, I mean, she ain't been there for about like an hour. You know, she got that old snipers pointed at her <laughs> as a threat, and she was looking up at this man talking about. Cause they had the conversation about the mom too you know when um alice had brought that up to keaton when he made her oh yeah she was nervous kid. she was like man he about to choose his mama yeah I'm about to die oh, so i didn't yeah. think that because the male knew so wh- what would y'all have done if this was you I were was, keaton and he betrayed she- you in such a way this is like like oh my god on well, well, on Monday when the courts open, it's gonna be annulled. I'm not gonna be dealing with um, it. Like it's like you for, were for, so for one, I'm not waiting a whole year to have sex with this man. So Girl. that's not that's not the play. And then on two, <laughs> I, I'm I not know. waiting a year to ask him all the questions she asked because I would have asked that right then. Like, so was this all just you know to get to my dad? Like. Was I the only one that was really in love? You know, like all the questions she asked, like I would she ask did. that right then. She did tonight. ask some of the questions. Up, she up waited a year to front, ask him that though. So I'm just letting you know, I would have waited. I would have asked the same questions that she asked right then. And we would have went to marriage counseling and, and then we would have so, had some sex. So you would have stayed with him then. You would after finding out the way she found out in front of everybody, her friends ain't know. Yeah, I I would have stayed, man, because that's it. Her soulmate, like he just he was perfect, I I was, minus I that one thing. And I feel like they needed that because he just was too damn perfect. And I feel like she did the right thing with asking all those questions she did, and we would have yeah we, we would have worked it out okay so the whole thing about the soulmate thing just based off of how they felt about each other how she really felt and how his heart really was and him saying you know that it wasn't like who you fell in love with is the real me the motive of probably dating you initially was for a certain purpose but the falling in love and that that was real i think i would have le- hey, i don't know if he would have loved it but i, I think if it was me, I would have left. Like he would have had to literally start all the way, like from scratch. Cause I feel like from the heart in the spiritual part, the way that they connected, it was like no way. Cause she she won't get to nowhere else. And it's not something that you want to like just lose. Cause he didn't like he didn't hurt her dad enough like that. You know, it was just that part of him. You lied, you wait till we're married. No, that's the part. <laughs> you wait to her man. Same day. Then you want to pull all this. Right. The same like day. she didn't even get to enjoy being married. I think I would have not been there with him. Right, in the same like, house. Yeah, I would have if 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 I felt like I was just like mad and or would I don't know. I probably would I probably would have got it annulled. But at the same time, if if we were going to like work through something, we we wouldn't work through it living with each other. Cause I would have, I'm not gonna live with you. I'm not gonna be doing none of that stuff, you know. For in that sense, I, they I'm did too, a I'm lot. Too, they did a lot publicly in that year. Oh, a lot. And they were so. Successful. He got his feels oh, every time he got a chance. Oprah, every time they was in public. The he said, Let me touch my wife. Like they did the love, black love doc documentary. <laughs> they were like on everything because relationship goes. <laughs> <laughs> in public. She hated him. I mean, she loved him. She forgave him, but she but she wanted him to hurt. And that's how I would have felt too. I just don't know if I would have been able to go through all of that that she went through. No, not in the same house, definitely not. No, in the same no. Um, but I know how you have to like with certain things you do put on the front. I mean, you do. But I, I don't I wouldn't have been in the same house and I de- definitely wouldn't have waited a whole year. Like if I waited a whole year, we weren't talking that entire time. 
Now, if I'm with you this entire time, this whole year, we so going to have to be <laughs> done, you know, in order for us to move on. It's not going to just be like like they did. I don't think I could have waited a year. I'm sorry. I'm like, y'all, too. I wouldn't wait. If I, I mean, but she waited five years, years to have sex after she had good sex. So I couldn't do that either. I just couldn't be her. Well, let's just say she has more <clears throat> willpower than we do. Let's, that's number one. She got what? She got more willpower than we do. Um, oh, most definitely. Five years. So, that's right there. Yeah, so that so another year for her, I mean, it didn't mean nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. Like the fact that that's your husband, that that didn't mean nothing either. Like you ain't gonna touch me. Like you did what you did. I just I don't I don't understand why it took that long. I think that's my like for him and for her. And I, first of all, I love her relationship with her the brothers. Like that was. I would, I would at least say she had like, that. Amel yeah. was the best brother, which I already knew he would be because he's already that. you know. Yeah, it's like she immediately clicked with the family, and I feel like maybe that's what saved, you know, maybe that part of it. But I don't know. I probably left that first night unless he would have like told me no, like you know, because he he has that thing on her, he has that pull on her, on her heartstrings and stuff. No matter how many she probably get him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's probably what made her, you know, stay. As far as them being married too, but and she was like, I prayed, I fasted. How? Like Lord, how? <laughs> right. Right. You don't make no mistakes. So, you know, as far as like if you trusting and like uh I don't know. I don't mm. know. But child that that was yeah. That was something a whole, year, a whole year without touching each other. Like you said, he was thinking kissing or whatever, whenever uh, he could and when the, the you know, camera was off. But um I was happy for them, but I was just mad how they happened. I was mad how they happened. I ain't like none of that part. But I, w- I was happy that Aaron was Atlas because I felt like they were a, a really like a good fit with each other. And they proved to be once they, you know, forgave each other. The clinic <laughs> that he got for her, the businesses that they have together, um, like they really are busy. <laughs> like they really have a full life. And then they have yeah. to come home and this girl sleeps in his t-shirt to so be closer to him, but she don't want him to touch her. Um, don't he you go. at night like every night and he like watches her sleep for a little while and that helps him go to sleep I'm like y'all are too whatever y'all he's sickening that's what they are too <laughs> doggone sickening for me love sick love sick um but it's beautiful yeah it is cause he was raised by a male <laughs> <laughs> he was raised by Mitch and Clover too cause they you know, they adopted them. They took the last name, you know. Um, That's because a male felt that they were worthy enough for his little brothers. <laughs> they finally has it. That took forever. So crazy. That night, oh my gosh, how is it even possible? That's why this book is kind of like getting on my nerves some because it's, it's so fairy tale to me. It's not even real. Oh my gosh, there is no way. Oh my goodness, let me see how many it said. Let me count the times. Let me see. Once, twice, three times. Did she come like four times or five? Oh, no, that happens. That happens. Oh, that's real oh, life. No, no. I've never in my entire life. life. Nah, yeah, it could be about four or five. Um, back to back like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, something must be wrong with me now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just honey, like, no, that's not the fairy tale. Go part. to the coochie doctor so she can tell <laughs> she you. Got you five five. I need her name, <laughs> yeah, Dr. Coochie. I need her because, honey, this. Uh, I was like, let me let me close this book. She's, whatever. Is that the whatever. fairy tale part you're talking about? No, that's I, th- not. I thought you were talking about them being soulmates because I mean, yeah. that too. That I, I too. think that's real, man. I, I think I think it's real. It exists. It's just not as common. I feel like because I feel like we all might do have that person, but I don't. I think life just causes us to go on different paths, and we like to just happen just not to be able to, to to experience that. But we you know we experience love, you know, a love that's strong enough to you know to keep us forever. But it's just not to that extent like those soulmate people. But um, sexually. No, yeah. I, I I need to yeah, I need to call up that doctor. You just I think you have to you have to find where your G spot is and that's that's how you'll you'll experience it because it's it's something else. Yeah, it's it's and it's yeah. 
Like y'all young people. <laughs> but, That's the only uh, thing uh, that uh, I know how to do. <laughs> so oh my gosh. But like after like the first night that they had sex, um, a male, I think, uh, yeah, he, he kept, popped he up. Like, Aaron and Eric Atlas that him. went to the restroom or something and he came back out and hit his a male, like watching his wife. That was very creepy. Very creepy. Like, what she wanted her to go somewhere? He used to talk to his brother. He thought his brother was right there. And he loved her. He thought he wasn't there. He thought he wasn't there. That was weird. But, um, I'm talking about my brother. He had on his, his, uh, I'm gonna go murder somebody clothes. Yeah, he had them killer boots. To talk about Cassian, because now his 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 brother Cassian wants to um he's he's messing with the wrong people. Like he wants to get in a drug game and he's like he's just doing stupid stuff. But his brother, a male, um, like this is what I like about male. Like he's very overprotective, but in a mm-hmm. good way. You know, mm-hmm. he was like my brother, you know, as much as he worked and stuff, um, like he had a knack for, you know, the streets and he did so much where if they wanted to be bums for the rest of their life, they could, because that's yeah. how they had it. So but they, they also happy? wanted to, you know, be a part of family business, but it wasn't for everybody, as as Aaron found out, or Alice found out. But they all had their own thing, which is also good. You know, so it's always constantly keeping money, you know, flowing or whatever. But that was one thing, which I don't, I didn't understand the difference between, like, drugs and then guns, because it's still, either way, you get in trouble. I mean, all of them, what they're doing, like if it was found out, but the fact that he he didn't want that part, of them to be a part of that side of it, to the point where he lied and said that they weren't doing that anymore. Right, um, which, yeah, he lied. He lied about that, but he's like, that's just, it's basically it's for y'all all good, like, leave that to me, you know, y'all, <laughs> y'all do y'all, own, you know, this part of it, but leave that, don't, don't, and he was so... He did not want Cassian to be doing that stuff. And that boy is so daggone stubborn and hard. Like, they, they all are. I just, I was mad at him. Because I'm like, why? But that's what he was, because money didn't mean anything to Atlas to the point where it's not something he'd be chasing for all of his life. You know, and it's something that he would give, you know. No, because they already had had money when they was little. When they was young, they had money yeah. ever since then. So, you know, they, they everybody's getting on the same accord. Now, you know, the wife, husband and wife, or act like husband and wife, you know, like everything was getting together. That scene when they were all having, which I I don't know. It's like every time we read stories like this, when it's like illegal stuff going on, like with the family, the men and families be so tight. Um, <laughs> they be so close and they be doing like traditional things, but... Right, um, right. When they have the, the dinners at uh, Mitch and Clover's house, when Clover and Keaton went to get the dessert, and then the table got flipped over. That was crazy. And guns were drawn. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh I, mean, I was surprised. That's how the book. That's how the book started. I knew. I, I knew things were going to be like. I, I knew it was going to the. It was going to have to be discussed at this dinner. You know, because he was like, he was just so over. It. He was so done, like what his brother doing. You know, trying to be doing. Um, but he doing tried the- to get his uh, he tried to get Alice to help. He said, Alice, instead of by uh, young, yeah. he didn't even call him young like he used to. He said, yeah. Alice, get your brother He's, before I <laughs> he said, You said to be one brother short. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's real because it's just like, I'd rather kill him than somebody else kill him because then I'm gonna have to kill them and their yeah, whole family, be you know. So I might as well just kill one person because I, I mean, I get them <laughs> You know, don't kill him but yeah i get that and like he's you know he's telling him why he's explaining to him why like i don't want you in that and then wait and then the people the security come to the door and then bam boy got shot in the hand i did boy got shot in the foot five yeah, minutes got yeah. shot in the hand his car yeah. got shot up got a, he don't play don't play with me don't kill yeah. my don't touch my fish don't try to uh get in stuff that ain't good for you and then the pond, he when he kicked the mama in the pond, he shot the boy in the foot because he said he didn't got a pond dirty now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. They're crazy. They are. But, I, you know, him getting shot in the hand, you know, that's proving, like, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not playing with you. Like, you ain't about this life. You're going to get yourself killed. And I think that that resonated. 
they, I don't know, I mean, he's still in the drug game or whatever, but you know, they're, they're not allowed to be. And um, I'm glad that they didn't, they're not the type of people who forces this lifestyle on each other. Cause Aaron, like, it's like he wanted to be a part of it because he, that's like, that was just what they all did, but like do his part. But like, bro, you're, like, not, you're not built he for kept, And then my yeah. baby kept telling him, you don't owe me nothing. Like you, yeah. my brother, like I love you. I did. I took care of you because that's what oh, I wanted to yeah, do. Like, yeah. So at the end of this, there's like a, it's almost, it's almost like a disconnect, but not too much, but it's almost like a not full, holy, put yourself in there in a relationship between these two. Oh, I can understand that because it took me years in my marriage before I was able to like be completely vulnerable and open up because I felt like it was going to be used against me. And in a way it still was used to hurt me. Right. You know, I mean, but that. theirs was three days. I mean, I, I understand. <laughs> yeah, it takes time. But yeah. theirs was like such a quick turnaround. Okay, yeah, I got it. Let me go on back my three days. Okay, now I know. No, it don't work. I mean, they, they were they were sick from being away from each other. They were crying. You know, they did the last thing with the fasting. And she, you know, she uh, reached out to someone, a lady that she knew there in uh, Jamaica. He was like, you know, he packed her bags. Hey, wherever you want to go for three days. Wait, I didn't know what they were doing when he was. I didn't know what he was gonna tell her when he, when he said he had to tell us something. He didn't know how she was gonna take it or whatever. Yeah, I didn't. I'm know. Like, whoa, what else do you have? I didn't think it was nothing like super. I, bad. I, I, I felt like I thought it was like a big thing that he was about to tell her that he trouble. wanted kids, and he he was nervous about it. Like he I thought gonna, that like too. She, Oh, okay, I was yeah, like, yeah. man, she nervous that she gonna be like, I'm not ready for that, you know? Yeah. But then when he was like, you haven't opened up fully to me, I was like, oh, I love him. He's been raised right. Shout out to a male. <laughs> I'm gonna say there's a book about a male. Right. <laughs> yeah. First off, this book was about a male. No, I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> 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 it was so weird that he what where, where you get that from? Where'd that come from? You you let's separate for three days again. Where where did that come from? How you even come to that? Maybe it's I don't know. I thought that was so crazy. I thought it was good because it's just like it's just you and God and you just I think yeah, the fastest is more so just like kind of understanding if, if you can if you can let go or if you can give your all but not necessarily it all happens in those three days um and then and also like the trust how do you feel out. with y'all not being together everything was going great so i just didn't understand the the separation at that time you go you just pick a place and and you go and i don't know i just it's just weird um but they wanted more than what you know like cool. yes it was good but it wasn't she wasn't giving like submission all the way to the him the fact that he felt that yes. he knew that like that's how in tune they were with each other and with each other's hearts and i think you know i mean it, it was so great, mates, like, and he just he even packed his shirts for her i'm like you are it's like, like oh like, <laughs> that was so oh <laughs> that's what it's like tony's books i just wish I, the men would read them you know, because y'all yeah, need to feel a little bad. You have to stop reading these kind of books. <laughs> y'all need to feel bad for how y'all, <laughs> this mediocre love we are getting. No. <laughs> <laughs> After their fast, they're finally kind of doing it, I'm going to say, like, the right way. Even though it was at, I, well, I'm picturing, like, a, the boardwalk in San Antonio. I'm not sure how this looks. But I'm seeing right. something like a, a river walk type thing. And, um, you know, the brothers are there, you know, a Everyone male walks her down. <laughs> uh, when a male walked her, I was like, oh, and then the dad was there. Like, everybody is there now. I was like, oh, my gosh. And then she sees her this husband. Snap, snap. And, you know, go hugs, go jump on him. And, you know, she said it again, like, it's not, I'm not crying because I didn't think we were going to come. But it's just like, I, you know, you, you can understand her tears. And, finally, and that's the same thing she said before. It was just, yeah. a, it, was, it was just a rewind. But yeah. it, was it was so like, beautiful. it was like how it should have been done the first time. And, and everything mm -hmm. is known at this point. Right. So now it's like, yeah. I can make, I can, I can make that decision for myself that I do want to be with you, knowing all of you. So <laughs> it was, it was, it was beautiful both times, but it meant more this time because now everything's out in the open. There's no more secrets. Yeah. You right. know, we're good. 
So I was like, okay, now I can be happy. <laughs> now they can be happy because it's over. Because, oh my gosh, that was such a mess. Um, but now they can accept each other, accept the love, because now it's real. She can fully submit, you know, accepting everything about her. And, you know, we have the end. Uh, oh, well, not really, because of the epilogue. Um, she ended up having the baby. Yeah. Having the baby. Yeah, snap, snap. Snap, snap, snap. Um, so I was really happy for them. And look, yeah. she had a baby that was three months and she was already pregnant again. I was like, dang. Girl. You were playing. Girl. Girl. That's why, well, I guess it's three months more than me because I did, I did this, you know, the same, the same Girl. Because, yeah, during those six months when I found out I was pregnant. But oh, wow. I was yeah. like, dang. So, yeah, so now they kind of, you know, they have their, their happily ever after. And that's the book. And I was... I enjoyed it, but like I said, like like we've talked about the entire time, it was, you know, a lot of frustrating parts, but right. it was good. Like, I feel like when they can make us feel like that, it's good. Um, so we'll jump on to the favorite characters. I I, I, I figured, like, I don't even know why. Talisha, I, I, We already know who Talisha's favorite character is. I'm gonna let you go first, cause you know, I'm just, so you, you can gush about them. Can I go last, just in case, uh, Miss uh, Bridget down there got something to say. That's not going to be my favorite character. Last oh, time yeah, we did last this, she, uh, <laughs> she was like, and I just wanted to, you know, telling me why she didn't like my favorite character. I'm like, dang, why you, why us women can't stick together? And, she, and, I, and the person that I liked was the woman. I was like, dang. So I don't even want to go first. We last time we respecting Bridget. each other's decisions and choices. Right, and move on. Hello. Okay. That's we no, but my favorite that. character, if, you know, <laughs> listening you to this, I already listened to everything I said. <laughs> that's that's that. Ismail, I really loved him. Like, I just felt like he, like, he just made me laugh. Like, he was just... The way he did stuff, I was just like, really? Like, he was just crazy. And I just thought he was just so funny. And uh, I really thought that uh, he really had a sad childhood. Like, I, I just really was like, for you to go through that and just just love your brother so much to the point where you kill for him. And if like, and you know how they say, um, how parents be like, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. Even though he didn't like, you know, seriously bring him in, but like I raised you, I take you out, you know, and I just <laughs> I just really uh I loved him. Like I just felt like the good parts of his brothers were him and uh he just was he was amazing. I did love the um a male okay, I keep saying a male, but uh Alice <laughs> and Kay, I really loved their relationship. I thought it was beautiful and I thought I thought that he was way too perfect. So I feel like they needed that. The <laughs> Alice and Aaron. So maybe that's why I just mm. knew that, that I knew that that that, that was that they was the same person. <laughs> I know it did. I know it. I know it. <laughs> because it was just no way that Alice was just this perfect person with no, you know, flaws. Yeah. His flaws. So um yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, so like yeah, but yeah, Mel was my favorite character. What about you, Bridget? I'm really, uh, really want to know. <laughs> well, to be honest, I really didn't have a favorite character in, Dang. in this book. Um, I just was all over the place, all over the place with all of the characters. I was all over the place. Um, the ones I can say that I liked the most was Keaton and her father. Um, I liked the relationship that it ended up being um, for the, the middle and the end of the story. Um, I liked her father. I liked, I don't know, he just seemed so... Are you, you, you trying to get a reaction out of me, ain't you? Why? What? <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, wait. Ashley, wait. He is trying me, like, on... Like, I feel like you just like, what can I say to make Talisha say wait, something? Wait, 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 oh, wait. You don't like her daddy? This Negro left her after she lost the only person that was there for her. 
Like he just she said did not, in the middle. You don't oh, miss him. She said in the middle in the end. That's you acting crazy. like you acting like a dude, man. You acting like a dude. I said, listen, I said from the like the middle to the end of the the book, I like their relationship that it end up being. Not what he did to her prior. I'm saying the end, what they like, end up yeah. having, has end up coming back together. That's what I like. That's what I like. Right My now. favorite character was Atlas slash Aaron, the whole person, you know, um, <laughs> because he had like um, I just he I felt like he had a really good heart, and I felt like he had a really good like head on the shoulders, and you know, Kurt Keaton was like that a girl like the type of girl that you were like you were trying to say like the, I, I like that she had something of her own and she didn't have to depend on anybody because i remember right, at some point right, you know right. she was like even she told him i want you but you're not i don't i don't need you mm -hmm. to have happiness right. in my life but without you i know how i like i don't want to feel that so I like that her trust was not solely into, like her happiness was not based on a relationship with a man. Correct. But like it was, it was the connection of like having something that she felt God created for her. Now we're all human. We all have flaws, we all have mistakes. So any man that God creates for, or any woman that's created for a man, you know, but vice versa, there's gonna be something, <laughs> you know? Um, but the fact that she, she, she realized with this whole self love thing mm -hmm. that it was more, it was like more to life than just like finding somebody and bam, now my life begins. No, it begins before that, you know, and once right. you, you find that and you get into that, that's when you, you know, you, you can be open and find the person that's for you. And for Atlas, I loved him because his upbringing to kind of have like he was the baby. He was the baby, so like a lot, a lot of the stuff, the bad stuff that happened in her life, a male experienced. So he knew the truth, you know, like from what the mom told uh, Atlas about what the dad did to her, and the male was like, none of that happened. He, she was treated like a queen. She didn't abuse. He, she wasn't abused. None of the stuff like that. But he had that. He had a family that was his adopted family, but he loved them just the same. He had his brothers and I loved their relationship. It was like a whole family unit. Of course, the, the legal stuff, I don't always like that, but whatever. <laughs> I don't I don't know why it's like I always accept it so bad, but it, it is true. It does happen. It's like, but it also kind of gives us a sense of these people who be doing this like illegal activity they're still people. They're still humans. They still have emotions. They're not all hard on people. Like they, you know, he can still be this like soft man in the heart with the woman that he loves. I love his relationship with God and with his family. Even though you know he he was part of some of the illegal stuff, I like the actual purpose that he was um, trying to do in life with the whole right healing. You know, of these people in his neighborhood, the people who are forgotten. You know, or the people who are um, taken advantage of as far as like the, the with the medicines and things of keeping basically keeping us sick but he you know he he got the knowledge that he needed he learned from some lady down the street at first <laughs> and then he you know he he finds knowledge he he gets into something he researches the mess out of it like i can respect somebody who wants to know things you know and and do something with that knowledge and i, I liked that he did have two sides um you know he can go in the hood dressed it however he was dressed and you know oh, and everybody loves him and then he can be you know how he was as atlas this this perfect guy which i'm glad we got to, I, i'm glad that like what you said before atlas being too perfect but then realizing that he, his flaw his other side was um what he did as aaron i liked him because i i want him to be real <laughs> <laughs> that's right you want him to be real right real so, <laughs> That's like he's my favorite character because he's like you don't in like real relationships and stuff. Even in other breaks, like it's just the woman is always the more in tune with the feelings and emotions and stuff like that. And for him to just be like knowing himself, but also like knowing his woman, knowing mm -hmm. his like that's the thing to me. Like knowing what she needs before she even asks. Before you know, like just having that type of like I love that, and I think that's what make me like like him more than anybody else because you know maybe i just won't get in my life but wow, um, but anyway 
He's my favorite <laughs> character. Um, He's my second favorite. I agree with everything you said. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This book, uh, My Heart is Your Seeker by, by Chelsea Maria, you know, it had us in our feelings. It confused us. It was frustrating, but it was exciting yeah. because you're like yeah. waiting <laughs> to know what happened. Like, it wasn't like, I can't read this. It's too much. Like, it wasn't like that, but it was like you were, in, you were anxious to, to, <laughs> to know, anxious. you know, yeah. what, what was happening. So for anybody to make me feel where I was feeling like, you know, she wrote, she wrote that very well. Um, I enjoyed it. It was it was a great black love story to me. Like it was amazing to read this after reading relationship goes. If y'all you know y'all wanna y'all should read that. It's really good. Um, it actually the way she is like that's how like relationship goes was. It was like uh, it was good, man. I really enjoyed the book. Like what's but, his name? What's, what's the name again? Uh, Michael Todd. Michael Todd. Check it out. Right. So I believe that's all we got. You know, this is again. I love you too. Um, too. Oh, <laughs> this is May's book of the month. Uh, My heart is just secret by Chelsea Maria. Um,